Hi, my name is Bruce Christensen. I'm with Wide Marina. I'm out here with Skip today, my co-pilot. Um, we're out in beautiful Coos Bay, nice sunny day. Anyway, today we're going to out demoing this uh, Defiance 220 Admiral. We have a 225 Yamaha on here, V6. We've got plenty of power on this thing. Up here in the cabin, we have dual wipers. Nice stainless, stainless steel rail up there for the bastard to hold on to. Uh, plenty of sleeping area under the V-berth up here. Um, look over here, we have trim tabs on this boat, which makes it nice when the boat starts leaning one way or the other, you can level it out. Wash down pump, I'll show you that in the back here in a minute. You got a, a pump for your live well here that pumps uh, water into your bait tank back there. Also make it a nice uh, bleeder tank for tuna. Stainless steel steering wheel, hydraulic steering. You got a switch here for spreader lights in the back. We'll show you those here in a second as well. And uh, it's kind of a cool little design that Defiance came out with here. This control box, you pull one pin and you can see you have a rear steering helm back here. Anyway, this control box will just slide back through this opening and uh, you can use the same control box and steer and throttle from in the back of the boat or up here in the cabin. So we're going to go through that little procedure here in a minute. But first of all, we're going to go over here a little farther. Got sliding windows on this thing. Um, on each side, uh, get some air in if it's too hot. But back here in the back, cool feature about this boat is you got this nice bleeder tank, which is also a bait tank here. You got a switch, pumps water in, it'll fill it up and just overflow if your uh, it gets too full. On the boat floors, we have uh, fish boxes with macerator pumps, one on each side. We also have uh, just storage here with the cushions for a fifth person to sit or this cushion you can take it off and uh, lay it in the cabin. Okay, not using it. I'm going to go ahead and steer this boat over here and get some of that trouble to demonstrate this for you. Down here, easy access to your valves for um, running your fish boxes, uh, pumping them out. Uh, this valve here, you turn it to one, pumps out macerator pump for one box, turn it the other way, it pumps the other one out. This is your pump into your live well, and also it drains your live well out there. Okay, so uh, wash down pump also valve, and over here we have a wash down pump. Okay. Switches up front. So, I like my watch down pumps. Uh, let me get up going here. We'll show you how this control box works. Well, first, come on up, Skip. We'll just go ahead and get this thing up on plane. Like I said, the power of the 225 Yamaha. Don't take long to get on plane. Two, three, four, up. Thank you. 
one pin and it'll move to the back so you can steer it from the back cockpit area back there. Turn the key off, another camera over your skit, you just pull this one pin and this whole control box just slides right out. Okay, so now what we'll do is just take it back here and slide through this little hatch cover they got. One pin here, and this is all done with, you know, probably 30 seconds. And turn the key, and we're off and going. I uh, it saves you about five, I think it's like seven thousand dollars out of the rear steering helm, separate with control box here and up front. It's just a, a good savings on a boat. Works really nice. I think it's a great idea by the clients. self-bailing deck so when you're in the ocean that's really important get a bunch of water come in self-bailing deck so pretty cool so well, thank you for watching this video today and we hope uh, you consider a defiance boat on your next boat purchase thank you very much